Josh, Steven just got done uh, with the Indiana Intercollegiates. Uh, good races for you guys today. Each had an event victory. Uh, I am win for you, I think, Josh. Uh, any one of the strokes were feeling particularly strong? Uh, butterfly felt pretty, felt, felt pretty strong. Um, freestyle felt a little awkward, but it worked out in the end. So. I know you finished last season by setting a uh, freshman record in an IM event. Is that kind of carried over that confidence into this year? Um, I would say the confidence has, but at the same time, it kind of just brought a whole never, a whole nother little level of drive to the season. Steve, uh, a couple of wins for you today, uh, back in the freestyle, kind of showing your versatility again. Tell us about those races. Um, freestyle felt pretty good. Um, I, I wasn't really thinking about much, just you know, trying to work on one breath down, no breath back, um, and maybe hopefully get to zero breaths by the end of the season. Um, 100 back felt pretty good, not quite as fast as last night. But my underwater is feeling really strong, and I think I just need to work on that second 50, bringing it home fast. Dan usually lets you guys have a chance to swim all sorts of different races in this meet. Is that one of the reasons you like it? Yeah, I'd say um, it's a great time to see everyone, you know, kind of mess around, either with, like, brushstroke, if they don't miss a brushstroke. Um, I guess I don't typically do the 50 free, but um, I, I, I enjoy it, so I think that, uh, yeah, I don't normally do the 100, but that's one of my more favorite events, so I decided to pick that. Anybody among your teammates that you'd highlight as somebody that had a big day today? Um, well, I mean, obviously Liam had a really good brush to uh, swim. I thought that was really impressive. Um, I thought Chris Balls looked really good in 100 breasts. He had a really smooth stroke. I thought Sean Garland had a pretty good 500 too. First of all, having, what, 10 teams, 11 teams, the place was packed. Great to showcase, you know, Indiana swimming. And I saw a lot of club coaches upstairs. So obviously they have kids on different clubs. and So that was really cool. And I think it's a good way for us to start the season. But, yes, I would have to say Celescar was outstanding. And Liam, what I really like about his race in 100 breasts, he attacked his walls, which he didn't do last night. If he had done that last night, I think he would have been a little bit faster yesterday. But to be able to come back on a meet that, you know, you've been here for four hours and, and to do that good I thought was was very impressive. And Celescar, you know, he's – He's, uh, I just think he's, he's swimming with so much more confidence. And he's finishing his races off a lot better than he did his first two years. And so I really expect some, some, some big things from him. But it, everybody else, is, is, we're just in a really good place. We, I mean, we got a lot of work to do. Don't get me wrong. This is going to be a really important week, week for us. But I think right now you can see everybody like, okay, now I see what Jay and Dan have been talking about. I need to go back and work on this. And, and others are starting to say, ooh, that, it's starting to pay off. So we got a little bit of both going. So I, I, it's, it's going to be fun for us to get back. I think they're going to listen to us. Usually what happens, they always say in football, the most improvement comes between the first and second games. Here, after the first meets, people kind of see where they're at, and they can, they'll, they'll be able to listen to what we're saying. So I really expect the next uh, couple of weeks going into Notre Dame and Miami and Western Kentucky before the Minnesota Grand Prix to be really good training weeks because we definitely are, are going to need it. Obviously, there was a lot of good energy in the pool today on deck with so many people here, but at the same time, is it a fine line having to wait between events because there were so many heats? Yeah, I, I think it's awesome. I, I, I love this meet. Um, I'm not sure about it, but I think just having the teams here in, in, in the Division Three, and Division Two, and Division One teams all racing together, I think is great. But yes, I think it is exhausting for people when you're sitting around waiting for your for four hours to do your main event. And that's why I was actually really impressed with Liam. He, he had one of his better swims after sitting here all day, you know, kind of waiting. So yeah, that's kind of tough. So when you get into the real dual meet season, when the dual meets last a lot shorter and they're more, they're even more intense, it's kind of fun. But I think this is a perfect setup for us, is because it is mentally you got to stay in the game for four hours, and that's hard to do when you're only swimming three times in four hours. So uh, I think that that is actually good for us to do. I don't necessarily want to do it every weekend, but this is a good experience for us. And, and the inner squad was good. I think we had more emotion last night. Today it was more of you just got to stay focused and, and not get, you know, out of out of sorts before you race again. And I think we got what we needed.